After you've finished all the required items in Module 1, you can move on to Module 2. This video will introduce you to the format of the majority of the course. So Module 1 was getting used to the class, logging into Canvas, feeling comfortable with what you should be doing during the first week of the semester. This next module will introduce you to a pattern that will repeat itself throughout the semester, and it involves our textbook and all the content for our class. And so you can see that Module 2 starts off just like Module 1 with a little introductory paragraph that you should read. What is different about Module 2 is that it now contains learning objectives. And there's a set of learning objectives for each module and for each chapter. So if you click on the uh, Module 2 learning objectives, you'll see that it's broken down for each chapter. And these are your goals for the chapter. And what I would recommend is that you should click on this and read through what you're supposed to learn in this module. I wouldn't memorize it. I wouldn't try to write it all down and make a list and, and make sure that it's all covered. Um, I would just kind of glance through and say, oh, I have this idea of what's being covered in Chapter 1. And then before you start Chapter 2, come back and say, okay, these are the goals for Chapter 2. And then later, let me turn this off. Uh, later, after you're done the module, come back and read, read through these objectives. If you're reading through the Chapter 5 workspace objectives, and you don't know how to navigate workspace locations and define key terminology for workspaces like panels and presets and, and different things like that and docking and nesting of panels, then you should go back and you should review Chapter 5 more thoroughly.